This next Karen's insane meltdown shows why consuming too much alcohol isn't advisable for anyone. On March 17, 2023, in Texas, officers were called to the airport regarding a woman who assaulted a gate agent. Upon arrival, they observed her in an altered mental state, displaying emotional distress and incoherent mumbling. It turns out that she had consumed some alcohol, which also made it difficult for her to locate her identification when officers requested it. Hold on just a second. Hold on. What's going on? Hey. What's going on? Huh? Can you talk to me? Can you talk to me? What's going on? Huh? What's going no, on? It's just a good little mobile. Huh? It's just a good mobile, Alabama. Okay, Mobile, Alabama. Yeah. Okay. So why didn't you go to Mobile? Uh, um, the flight's leaving in a minute. Huh? Do you have a panic attack? Or something? Yeah. Probably just quit and panic. It's a minute. Oh, a minute. It's leaving. Okay, start speech. It's leaving. Huh? It's leaving in a minute. Okay. Minute, have you, hey, let me, hey, answer my question. Have you had something to drink today? Yeah. Alcoholic beverages? Yeah. Where at? Just in the bar. This bar right over here? Yeah. How many did you have? Two. You had two drinks? Yeah. What kind? Um, Remember? Um, I had two whiskey sours. Whiskey sours? Yeah. Just two? Yeah. Okay. Have you got your driver's license? <laughs> Do you have your driver's license? Yeah. I'm a bitch. Huh? I'm a Look in your wallet. Okay. I'm a bitch. Well, look in your wallet. It's, I mean, it's got to be in your bag somewhere. Is that your wallet right there? Yeah. You need my license? Yeah, your driver's license. Okay, your wallet's right there. It's in her purse. I just put a license in her purse. In her purse? Yes. In her purse? Yes. Look in your purse. No, no it's, a, it's a black purse. There's a black purse. Yeah, yes. it's in there. Look in there. Let her get it. She said, go ahead and look. No. Okay, okay you're we've got to do okay. it for, okay. for our show. Okay, okay. can it's you look for it for me? <laughs> look in your purse, it's in there. Okay, I need you to get your driver's license out. Yeah, I'm not going to go in her bag because we don't have, we don't have authority. It's great. No, we can't, so. I don't know where my license is. Look in your look in your purse. That's where it's at. See it right there. See it right there? Yeah. The woman is questioned on why she acted violently towards the gate agent. She denies doing so despite multiple witnesses claiming she did. However, she does admit to taking more alcohol than she initially revealed. Why, why are we why are we striking the the gate agent over here? Why are we trying oh, to punch him? No, I don't, did you hit the gate agent? No, I did him. Huh? I did him. You didn't touch him? Uh, no. No? Uh, I was scared. Huh? I was scared. I was scared. Can you tell me again how many drinks you had? I had four. Huh? Four. You had four? Yeah. Okay, before it was two, now it's four. You remember? Yeah, it's been three or four. It's been three or four, okay. Have you had anything to eat today? No. Okay, have you taken any medication? No medication. 
okay, on a scale from zero would be not being intoxicated at all to ten being the most intoxicated you've ever been. Where do you think you are? Probably six or five or six. Five or six? Okay. All right. Um, did she make contact with you at all? I know she swung at you, but, but she, you know, she, was, she, she never like made contact. She just swung at you. She was just upset doing like, this, but I, yeah. I moved away. Yeah, so she, she, she didn't like, contact you, give you a, like a Mike Tyson haymaker no. or anything like that. Okay. Officers find out that the woman is unaware of her location after she places a call to her son. As a precautionary measure, medics are called to make sure she is all right before she is arrested. Her son was also informed of her condition and updated on the next step that would be taken on the matter. Hello. Do you know where you're at right now? Yeah, I'm in Detroit. You're in Detroit? Detroit. You're, you're close. Hey, you're Patrick. only about halfway across the country right now. Patrick? You're in Dallas. I'm in Dallas. Yeah, that's a little bit far away from Detroit. <sighs> So I take it your son's not here then? He's gonna be here. He's gonna be He'll here. He'll be in Mobile. He'll be in Mobile? Where are you flying to? Mobile. Mobile? So uh, she was having a panic attack. She's been drinking. We just come in, I'll check her out, make sure she's okay. And, uh, and we'll probably yeah. take her. So. Okay. Is it okay if we take your vitals? Yeah. Is that alright? Yeah. So he's just he does what you guys Hello. do. Hello. Battery. Hey, is this Patrick? Hey, so this is Officer Lambert there at DFW Airport Police Department. Okay. We're out with, I'm um, guessing it's your mother right now. This uh, is Laura. Samuel Allen. So she's uh, severely intoxicated right now. And she did try to uh, strike the American Airlines gate attendant a couple times. So. I'm just going to kind of be blunt with you. She's probably going to be coming with us for public intoxication. So she's going to be going to jail for a little bit until she sells the drugs. That is correct. What? Pretty much until she sobers up, we deem her that she's alright to take care of herself. And it's basically on the same line as a speeding ticket, but the reason that she's going in handcuffs is because uh, she's got to be under our watching care so she doesn't harm herself or anyone else. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's going to be around like a $300 ticket essentially, but like I said, she's got to go in handcuffs because uh, just based off of her actions, she's not okay to be by herself right now. When placed in handcuffs, the woman puts on such a heavy display of drama that she gets warned not to act violently. Despite her struggles, officers manage to find a way to take her away out of the airport. Hey, Laura, can you stand up for me? You need some help? Appreciate it. Here. Turn around, close. Okay, turn around, close.
to knock it off. Yeah, baby. Oh, no, we gotta move little yeah. by little. Sitting here is not gonna help. Mama, we got it. You get the bag. As officers approach the squad car with the woman, she violently kicks out at one of them prior to being searched as per protocol. Her violent act is surely going to get her an extra charge. Stand up. There's the charge. Stand up. No! I'm not charging, I'm not going nowhere. Stand up. No! Get your foot. Are you gonna stand up or we're gonna help you stand well, up? Make stand your mind. to help me stand up, motherfucker. Okay. Stand up for me. Okay. Do you have anything in your bra area? No. Okay, I'm gonna use the back of my hand. You see this? See the back of my hand? Yeah. I'm gonna use this brush up and down. Okay, okay. I got a camera. He's got a camera. The partner over here has a camera. File. Can you turn on your front camera? File. Turn on the camera. Okay, got a car camera going too. Okay, I'm gonna use the back of my hand, alright? Yeah. All right, let's walk over here to the left. Inside the squad car, the woman refuses to sit calmly for the ride to the station. She attempts to free herself from the restraining seatbelt, screaming loudly to be let go. But it does nothing to change the fact that she is going to jail. What are we going in here for? For? Slide around, Amanda. Slide around, Amanda. Slide, slide in this way. Slide in this way. You're right. Why am I going in here for? Why am I going in here for? Why am I going in here for?
No, it's not a wait a minute, mother. Let me out now! Let me out now! Now, bitch! Let me out! Let me out, mother. At the station, the woman gets charged with resisting arrest without violence and public intoxication and might be hit with a ban from the airport. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one.